What is Ash Wednesday, and what does it have to do with you anyways? Ash Wednesday is, marks the beginning of Lent. It's the doorway into the season of Lent before Easter. And because Easter is one of the holidays, it doesn't have a specific date and month that it falls on every year, unlike Christmas, which is always on 1225, or the 4th of July, which is always on the 4th of July. Because Easter moves, so does Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday is always 46 days before Easter, which includes the 40 days of Lent, plus the six Sundays of Lent, uh, and it is always on a Wednesday. Who celebrates Ash Wednesday? Well, most of us know now that sometime in February or March, uh, we will notice that there are people wandering around in the world with black smudges on their foreheads. You probably would know Anyways, it has something to do with Lent, uh, even if you didn't know why it was ashes or why it was a cross, what that significance was. But anyone can celebrate Ash Wednesday. Even our Jewish brothers and sisters will sometimes celebrate the day with us because the sign of ashes is a strong Old Testament um, symbol of our repentance and our humility, which we all do well to show in the face of God. What happens at an Ash Wednesday service anyways? Well, it's pretty much like most of the other services we have. There's hymns and prayers and scripture. But at some point in the service, the pastor or the priest of the congregation will invite everybody to come forward and to kneel at the chancel rail. Uh, and then the pastor will go by with ashes and uh, using their finger, place the side of the cross on their forehead, saying the words, from dust you have come and to dust you will return. It's a time of a deep awareness of our mortality uh, and that we are God's creatures and we will return to God at the end of our mortal flesh. Where do the ashes come from? In many congregations, the ashes have an interesting journey where they come from the palm branches from last year's Palm Sunday. That allows us to encapsulate sort of the entire journey of our Christian year into the symbol that we place on our forehead to make the cross. So after Palm Sunday, uh, somebody gathers up and keeps the remaining palm branches, and then prior to Ash Wednesday, somebody, this year our admin, Gail, uh, takes those palm branches and puts them in a fire and uh, creates the ashes that will become this year's uh, liturgical symbol for the service. The ashes symbolize two main things, death and resurrection. Uh, the ashes are equivalent to dust, and our human flesh is composed of dust, uh, as we read in Genesis 2-7. Uh, when we come forward to receive the ashes, we are basically saying that we're sorry for our brokenness and that we want to use the season of Lent to help make right uh, the error of our ways, to purify our hearts, uh, to come closer to the face of God uh, so that we can celebrate Easter with great joy. What is the history of Lent? What's the history of Ash Wednesday? We won't find either of those two things in scripture, but you will find a lot of symbolism of ashes being used to um, be poured on a person's head. People would sit in ashes for their mourning and a sign of their repentance. Uh, but th the tradition goes back a good bit. It goes all the way back into the 300s, uh, where we recognize that there was a 40-day period of Lent for um, learning the faith and being brought into the faith. Uh, by the end of the 4th century, it was pretty well uh, solid, and there was prayer and fasting, uh, which made up their spiritual practices. Is it okay to wear the ashes on your forehead? Aren't we supposed to do our uh, acts of piety in private? Well, it's an interesting thing that actually uh, wearing your ashes publicly is a, quite a profession of your faith, and says something about you to the world as a sharing of you in the world that you wouldn't normally do. So there's a lot of goodness and a lot of good uh, Christian evangelism happening just from people walking around with the ashes on their forehead. Um, so it is not something that um, you need necessarily hide as long as you're not doing it pridefully. Um, the more important thing is that the ashes actually symbolize from us our heart's attitude behind them. 
that if there's anything that we should give up this time of year, we will give it up. If there's any amends that need to be made, we will make those amends. If there's any sorrow or, or unification that needs to happen, we will participate in that. The ashes are a symbol of saying we are in for this season to do the work, the hard work of Lent. Bible verses for Ash Wednesday can often include uh, the creation story of Genesis 2-7, which says, Then the Lord God formed Hadam from the dust of the ground and breathed into Hadam's nostrils the breath of life, and Hadam became a living being. Genesis 3-19, By the sweat of your brow you will eat your food until you return to the ground, since from it you were taken, for dust you are, and to dust you will return. This year, Ash Wednesday is Wednesday, February 26th, and the services will be held here in the evening. From the closing words of a prayer for Ash Wednesday, to God we might pray, thank you that the ashes on our forehead do not symbolize our ultimate reality. From dust we might have been formed, but our bodies, our spirits, ourselves await beautiful redemption and the restoration of all things. Help us long and look forward to that day and let it come quickly, Lord Jesus. Amen.